Hello everyone, Josh Moderna Labs here, and in this video I'm going to be going over the Complex Oscillator module in Alto. The Complex Oscillator is located in the bottom left corner of Alto, and the first important thing to understand about the Complex Oscillator is that there are actually two oscillators inside of this module. You have your main carrier oscillator, which is associated with the color green, and you have a modulator oscillator, which is modulating the carrier oscillator and is associated with the color yellow. So let's jump right into these parameters because there's a whole lot going on inside the complex oscillator. I'm going to start with the parameters for the modulator oscillator, which are these three parameters on the left. They are noise, offset, and ratio. Noise is a sign to white noise crossfader for the modulator oscillator. Offset is a detune in hertz for the modulator oscillator. And the ratio is the pitch of the modulator oscillator as a ratio to the pitch of the carrier oscillator. This parameter mod index is the amount of modulation that's occurring between the modulator and the carrier oscillator. So if I turn this up, it will allow me to demonstrate these parameters in the modulator oscillator. Because if it was all the way down, the modulator oscillator is not doing anything. Because its purpose is to modulate the carrier oscillator. So if it's not modulating it, then you can't hear changes in their parameters. So starting out here, this is just the Alto default patch here, just a plain sine wave. And if I turn mod index up, you can immediately hear a change in timbre. And that is the modulation. If I turn noise up, you'll notice white noise getting introduced into the patch. Offset, a detune in hertz, will create a flange type effect. Or a more dissonant sound at the extremes. Ratio increases the amount of higher harmonics in the patch. So those are some high harmonics up there. And if I turn it down, there'll be some more easy on the ears harmonics. You can even introduce lower harmonics. And these parameters will have a more dramatic effect if you turn up the mod index parameter. Moving on to the parameters for the carrier oscillator, we have timbre, shape, and pitch. The shape is a square to sine to sawtooth crossfader, starting at a sine in the middle, and then a square on the left, and a sawtooth wave on the right. Timbre introduces complex harmonics to the patch or to the waveform and it will have the most dramatic effect when shape is in the middle near the sine wave. Pitch is the amount or the pitch that the oscillator is always running at. As a reminder, the pitch output of the key module by default is modulating the pitch of the complex oscillator, meaning that the note that you press on your MIDI keyboard will generate the pitch parameter. If you do not have this set up, then this will be the pitch that the complex oscillator is running at. So if you didn't have this set up and then you open the level of the gate, the drone that you hear is the pitch of this parameter. The pitch is also an interesting parameter because it has two modulation inputs. It has a logarithmic input, this exponential curve here, and a linear input here. The reason for this is because humans hear pitch logarithmically. And what this means is it takes more hertz at the higher ranges of the frequency spectrum to move from pitch interval to pitch interval. So if you want to modulate pitch in a melodic way, 
use the logarithmic input. But if you want to modulate pitch in a more dramatic way for a, per a percussion sound or other kinds of non-melodic sounds, go ahead and use the linear input for a more dramatic modulation effect. A couple other things of note here. We have output signals for our carrier oscillator here, the green output, and an output for the modulator output, or for the modulator oscillator. This is as a default down to zero, which means that you will only hear the modulation, not the modulator oscillator by itself. But if you want to hear the modulator oscillator, simply turn up the output level for it. To another thing of note in the complex oscillator is that the modulation inputs for timbre and mod index are running through a vectoral simulator. And what this means in practice is that irregularities will be added to the signal when you modulate these parameters. And I will go more in depth on vectoral simulation in my next video on the gate module. But for now, just know that mod index and timbre are going to have some irregularities when you modulate them. So that's the complex oscillator in Alto. Between all your different parameters and the modulator oscillator, there are, is a wide range of timbre opportunities and a lot to explore. Thanks for watching, everyone.